Hey guys, it's Fal here, and I'm going to be showing you how to do Roblox animations in Blender. So, before we begin, I expect you to know the fundamentals of Blender, and you're going to need a couple of things. First thing is the Blender Animations plugin for Studio and the Roblox Blender add-on. So to install the Roblox Blender add-on, you're going to need to go to this link I'll right in the description below, so you can go check there. Uh, once you're at it, you can go to save as, just because you're saving the page, and you're gonna save it as something.py, or you can name it to whatever you like. Make sure you save it to the desktop so you can get easy access to it later. So, once we're at the desktop, you may notice that your file extension may have .txt in it, so you can change that to .py by removing it. And then, you want to go to Blender to install the add-on. So go to user preferences first by pressing Control alt u go into add-ons, and install add-on from file, and you want to locate the add-on location. Once you've installed it from the file, you may need to check to see if the add-on is checked. You can type in animation in the search bar, and you should get Roblox animations. Make sure it's checked, and you can save. Once you're done installing the add-on for Blender, you want to go into a studio and create a new place. And once you're in the place, you can go to the rig builder using the animation editor, I believe. And you want to select the R15 block rig. Once it's created, you're going to want to center it. To center it, you're going to need to select the humanoid root part and setting the position to 0, 0, 0. This is recommended though. And you can move it up if you'd like. Once you're done with that, you can go to the Blender Animations plugin that you've installed into Studio, select the rig. Once you're done with that, you can export the rig and save the file to easy access location. Once you've exported your rig from Studio, you can go ahead and import it into Blender. There's the new Roblox Animations tab that you should have from the add-on you've installed from earlier. You can import the model. Okay, once it's imported, you can go ahead and select the humanoid root part really big great block and you can rebuild the rig. You can go ahead and hide it afterwards. You can go ahead and select the skeleton and go into pose mode and start doing your animations. But before you can do animations, if you want to add IK constraints you can. First you're going to need to select the ending bones and click the create IK constraint button. Okay I guess this is, this is where my character is facing so <laughs> you can go ahead and test it out if you like. Once you've created your animation, you can go ahead and click the export animation button. Clicking it creates a string of animation data, and it can be pretty lengthy. In Studio, you're going to click the load large animation button and paste the animation data in there, below the line. If the animation loaded, then you can go ahead and click upload if you're satisfied with it. You can click restart and preview, set the animation priority, and you can enable looping. Well, I hope you learned something. Share this video if you have friends who want to make Roblox animations using Blender. See ya.